Hi everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. I got a request from Joey to look at Prospera Energy. So we are going to compare it to Pure Day Energy, which is a gas producer. Prospera is heavy oil. So first of all, why did I invest in natural gas, which is Pure Day Energy? Because of the EV boom, because of the US EU gas arbitrage natural gas consumption is going to go up and this is the arbitrage between us gas and eu gas now prospera energy is in oil so there's no arbitrage on oil but anyway we are going to compare these two companies so both are in an uptrend um, looking good the market cap of Prospera Energy is much lower. It's about 10 times lower. So this is a small cap, very risky play, but it's a company that's earning money. It has a PE ratio of four, which is acceptable. So there is no risk uh, in my view because they have earnings. They already have the 710 barrels per day in production, almost all uh, liquids. So much lower production than uh, Pure Day Energy, of course. But look at how fast it grows. By the end of this year, it could go to 1,500. That's a double. Um, and by 2024, it can go to 5,000. So that's a 7x in production from this year 7x i'm not sure if they can do it that's something for the oil and gas engineers to find out but let's say that they can do it and we will base our numbers on that that is also very low convertible debt so it could be that they try to push the stock price down to get a better deal to convert the debt into equity. So watch out for that, but it's only yeah, 5 million, 4 million. So there could be some dilution. Uh, interest rate, 12%. Uh, I couldn't find decline rates. Capex, not sure, I think around 2 million per year. Operating costs are medium, not high, not low. Um, free cash flow at $80 oil is at around 5, so yeah, PE of 3 to 4. So they are earning money. Not sure if they have tax pools, but the reserves are very high. It's around 23 years. That means that they can increase production. Royalties at 12%, so lower than Pure the Energy. So it's a completely different company. It's oil instead of gas, much different market cap and growth rates. But let's compare the upside. So for Pure Day Energy, we have at normal gas prices, uh, triple to a quadruple right and when we have higher gas prices this could be a 10x at lower gas prices maybe a double now prospera energy has a much different curve so today they are fair value okay at the pe of four to five it's fair value market cap is the same as the valuation but by the end of the year when they go to 1500 barrels per day production then it shoots up to about 50 million valuation so that could be a double a double by yeah a double by the end of the year is possible if they hit their targets and a year later when they go to the 5000 boe per day yeah then you just add the production to it and it can go to 200 million 
So that's more than a tenfold from uh, 17 to 200. So that's the upside. It's just a growth story. And they make money. If they can grow, then they will make more money. Leverage is, is seen on this chart. It's normally it's not high leverage compared to the oil price, but because it grows so fast, uh, the leverage is also very high. So if you go to $100, then we have from 16 to 400, that's, uh, that's uh, more than a 20 fold, 25 fold. So I actually bought some, not a lot, but it's a nice speculation. Um, if it can go up uh, five to ten x, then, then yeah, it's it's a good risk reward. So that's why I say Prospera Energy's growth trumps pure day energy. And here is the calculation. So production of seven hundred to one thousand five hundred to five thousand. The, those are these three charts, these three lines. CapEx 2, SGNA was around 1 million. Uh, interest, half a million. Revenue per barrel is 85. CID, then net back half of it, less than half of it. AIC at 40. And I inputted all these numbers and it gives me this upside. Okay. So this is a growth story. Um, let's wait a year and see if they can actually grow the production to, to the 5,000 BOE per day. Um, I've seen many companies fail, but maybe this one will be able to do it. Even if they fail, the PE is still four, which is good value to buy. Okay, so that was the comparison between Pure Day and Prospera. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.